I'd like to make a broad thank you to our master gardeners and to the University of Maryland Extension. I'd also la like to thank our project manager, Don Dorsey. And I have some more thank yous that I'll do at the end. So first I'd like to introduce our special guests today to speak a, a couple of words about the, uh, the project that we have here and also about what it is that they do. First I have Executive Jan Gardner from Frederick County Government. Thank you, Shannon. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day here in Frederick County today uh, to come out and celebrate uh, this wonderful project, this innovative project, and this opening. I do certainly want to welcome uh, all the guests who've joined us from across the county and the state today as we do this official tap opening. Um, stormwater management demonstration um, gardens may not really sound sexy to the average member of the public, probably to all of you as master gardeners, but after last week's storm and the rain we've seen over the past year, it's become clear to people everywhere that starting uh, to pay close attention to how stormwater is managed has become really important. Stormwater management does matter. The demo gardens built here at the University of Maryland Extension Service, which is on county-owned property, are the first of their kind in the Mid-Atlantic region, at least the best we've been able to tell. I want to thank uh, the the for the collaboration of the Extension Office, the Master Gardeners, the County's Office of Sustainability and Environmental Resources, and the Division of Public Works. Um, together, we have created a beautiful showcase of eight different techniques to harvest rainfall. And so I think most of you have probably taken a tour, but if you haven't, take the opportunity after the ceremony to do so. The system is designed to capture rainwater where it is most needed, and that's in the garden. The project can store more than 1,300 gallons of rain on site to be used later when it's needed. A special tap has been installed to feed the rainwater into the gardens. And of course, I think Shannon let you know that in a few minutes, instead of the traditional ribbon cutting, we're going to have something special on tap, literally. We're going to launch the demonstration garden with a ceremonial opening of the tap. Now the Office of Sustainability prides itself on educating Frederick County citizens and businesses on ways they can operate more sustainably. So creating this innovative demonstration project will help property owners around the county to see firsthand some of the cost-effective options for managing stormwater. It will be valuable resources for homeowners associations and others as well. We already had a local business visit the site to see if a tree box filtera or a rainwater harvesting tank would work best for their property. And I think this location is ideal as well because more than 200 visitors come to the Extension Service Office each month to learn. The Master's Gardener's Program has more than 150 volunteers, and I think quite a few of you are here today, and holds seminars most weekends for our residents. And I, I understand that our Master Gardener's Program in, is one of the most active in the entire region. And in fact, it was the master gardeners and their interns who determined what plants should go in the grow it, eat it garden that you see behind me, as well as the plants that should be used for the filtera, the dry stream bread, and the microbio retention area. Frederick County master gardeners were the driving force behind this project, and I thank you for that. They reached out to our Office of Sustainability staff to see what could be done about uncontrolled stormwater running off this site. In 2013, the Master Gardeners constructed a rain garden, but it turned out to be too small for the task at hand. So the county identified opportunities to address stormwater issues at this location, and we also found that it could be helpful to the county to meet our requirements for our stormwater management permit, which we fondly, fondly call the MS4 permit. So construction began in February, and it was completed um, sometime uh, before Memorial Day. This project was truly a team effort, and I want to recognize a lot of people here who were involved in it. Dewberry engineers who work with county staff to design the structural components, the University of Maryland's local extension office, certainly the master gardeners, and of course the fantastic staff at the county's office of sustainability and environmental resources. And I do want to give a special shout out to Don Dorsey, who I understand has done just about everything involved with this project, uh, whatever needed to be done. So let's give him a special round of applause. 
our Division of Public Works, who is also here and uh, there for their project management team, and also to the contractor, Triangle Contracting. So I also want to thank the Maryland Chesapeake and Atlantic Coastal Bay Trust Fund for their grant to help fund the creation of this beautiful and practical resource for our region. I think we can all be proud in Frederick County of the innovation that results from partners collaborating. Frederick County really is known for its great collaborations. Um, whenever there's an issue or a problem, people seem to uh, come to the table and help solve that. So in Frederick County, we can be proud that we're growing big ideas to ensure a bright future for Frederick County. So thank you for all of you who worked on this to really help uh, Frederick County lead the way. So thank you so much, and I'll turn it back over to the next speaker. Thank you, Executive Gardner. Our next speaker is Stephanie Mathias from the University of Maryland Extension. She's the Master Gardener State Coordinator. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Shannon, and thank you all for the invitation to be a part of the celebration for this unique and inventive project. As Shannon said, my name is Stephanie Mathias, and I am the State Coordinator for the University of Maryland Extension Master Gardener Program. Our program trains dedicated volunteers throughout Maryland who share a vision of a healthier world through environmental stewardship. These Master Gardener volunteers provide free horticultural education to the public. The Master Gardener program supports the University of Maryland Extension mission by educating residents about safe, effective, and sustainable horticultural practices that build healthy gardens, landscapes, and communities. Plants can provide food, help us save energy, clean the air we breathe, improve our moods, and clean our water, like you see in the project here today. Master Gardeners fill an important role in our communities by helping people to appreciate the power of plants. Volunteers help residents learn how to incorporate plants into their own lives. One of the best ways that we can do that is to show residents examples of what they can do through a demonstration garden. Examples of Master Gardener demonstration gardens can be seen throughout Maryland and Frederick County is no exception. These gardens allow you to learn hands-on about gardening for pollinators, growing vegetables, or gardening with children. Demonstration gardens allow our volunteers to do what they do best, educate and share practical, science-based, horticultural knowledge and advice for the public. This stormwater management project is a shining example of a demonstration project, showing homeowners multiple options that are available to them to help control stormwater runoff in their own homes. It's one thing for people to hear or read what they can do with plants and best management practices, but seeing it in person can really inspire you to take that next step. The Master Gardener volunteers in Frederick County are wonderfully adept at encouraging residents to become involved in gardening. Frederick County's Master Gardeners played an important role in the planning and implementation of this project. As you heard, it was actually a Master Gardener volunteer that, was, that first brought the attention to the need for increased stormwater management on the site. Volunteers were instrumental in using their knowledge gained through the Master Gardener program to develop a list of plant species that would lead to a beautiful, thriving, and effective garden. They worked hard to install plants as part of the project and have continued to maintain the gardens as they get established. I would like to recognize our Master Gardener coordinator in Frederick County, Susan Trice, for her exceptional efforts in making this project a reality. Susan is a knowledgeable guide for her volunteers, allowing them to take ownership of the project and helping them to work effectively with the project partners. Her guidance, along with the unfailing commitment of the Master Gardener volunteers, contributed greatly to the success of the project. I am proud of these innovative efforts, not just as the state coordinator of the Master Gardener program and as part of the University of Maryland Extension, but also as someone who called Frederick County home for my entire childhood. I am excited that we've had the fortunate opportunity to partner with such forward-thinking organizations as the Frederick County Office of Sustainability and Environmental Resources. Thank you so much to everyone who put in countless hours to make this project a reality. I look forward to watching this project in action for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. I've had a request for us to talk a little louder, so we're all going to do that. Our next speaker is going to be Rick Walter from the University of Maryland. He's the Area Extension Director for Frederick, Howard, and Montgomery Counties. Thank you so much, Rick. Rick said that he has no problem talking loud because he used to work as a swimming coach.
That would be back when I could fit in a bathing suit. So County Executive Garner, thank you for being with us today. I'd like to thank also the project team that's here, the guests and colleagues. Thank you for coming out this morning for this uh, welcome to our extended garden, if you will. Um, Executive Gardner, I, I would like to say on behalf of the College of Ag and Natural Resources and the University of Maryland Extension, what a great partnership it has been with you and the county. We have a small token of appreciation to set the stage for today. Did I miss the photo op, Ram? Oh, sorry. You can still go. Go ahead, come back. <laughs> so we look at the University of Maryland Extension as the front door to the university, your land-grant university. Our faculty translate the research that's conducted on campus into education-based tools that we get to share with our neighbors across Frederick County. This multi-development project um, we're acknowledging today really showcases the county's commitment to innovation and education. We heard Executive Gardner talk about the innovative mindset that the county has. This is just one more example of that. And it's appropriate that it's next to our demonstration garden. But together we share a shared value and that is making the life of our neighbors better in Frederick County. The University of Maryland Extension volunteers were honored to participate from the beginning in this project. And I'd like to acknowledge some of the folks that were directly involved in this. Um, and we met Susan Trice earlier. Susan, if you wouldn't mind standing up. Deb Cummack, wherever you are, would you please come forward a little bit, who was our Master Gardener liaison with this project. And Jeff Matt, who is the Demo Garden Chair, if you would just come and be acknowledged. So Susan, Susan did one better for me today. I was going to ask all the Master Gardeners to wave so we could recognize you. But I think it's easier if you just turn around and look at the folks in the red shirts. Those are our master gardeners. And finally, and she's going to be embarrassed that I do this, Linda Smith, who is in the back, has been our liaison to this project. She is the building manager here as well as my administrative assistant. So, Linda, on behalf of your colleagues, thank you for keeping us all square as this project went along. This project demonstrates a cooperation between the county and the expertise of the university. As we said recently in a staff meeting, this is a wonderful example of what leadership really is all about. Stephanie talked about the purpose of the demo garden. In addition to this space, provides educational examples for our neighbors, for our homeowners, to also demonstrate about beauty and managing stormwater on their own property. The Demo Garden is also a symbol for all that we do here at Extension, whether it's nutrition education or small beginning farmer program, youth development through the youth garden. It's down at the end of the garden here healthy homes and healthy living, and nu nutrient management. All programs that we do here, we invite you in a little while to come and learn more about what we do. The Master Gardeners, 4-H, nutrition education are all things that we do here and are very proud of our faculty that provide these services to the community. If you all, the faculty and staff here, wave your hand so we can say thank you to all of you. We look forward to continuing our partnership with the county on other educational opportunities in schools, libraries, and parks. But what we really want you to do is watch for our story walks this summer in parks around the county. Pretty cool idea, year one, 
take advantage, bring the kids, read about a story, and do a healthy activity. Fair enough, Kerry? On behalf of all the volunteers, faculty, and staff, we invite the community to visit this site, but also engage with the University of Maryland Extension and our master gardeners to learn more about what you can do on your own property. And before I walk away, I have to say, please come inside. We got a little bit of a snack. We got a little bit of information about the project and about Extension after we do something else. But please, stick around and learn from your master gardeners and the faculty and staff here at Extension. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. I'd also like to recognize in the audience the Frederick County Sustainability Commission members Elizabeth Law and Liz Peterson. Thank you for coming. And Mark Sankey. Dr. Mira Mehta, University of Maryland Director of Nutrition and Food Science, Expanded Food and Nutrition Education Program. Thank you for coming.